but why not join the easier side? I mean, you're just, you're creating problems for yourself by getting on stage with Trump. And I mean, you must have had friends who said that to you. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But people who care about you, like, what, why even get involved in this? Well, I've get, because I, I think we want to remain a democracy and we don't want to become a one party state. Yes. That's the reason. Um, and the, it's the exact opposite. They, the people who call Trump a threat to democracy, but the people who are saying Trump's a threat to democracy are themselves the threat to democracy. Yes. Um, one party rule is not democracy. Uh, one party where essentially the party elite pick a candidate, as happened with Kamala, is not democracy. Where did the people vote? Show me where the people voted. No, there were no people voting. It was all just Dem party elite that just appointed someone. Um, and, and, and when the, when the Biden puppet, uh, when the pro Biden puppet's uh, ratings sagged, they knifed him in the back immediately and just tossed him out and put, it, put a, a, a new puppet on. That's exactly what happened. Tell me I'm wrong. Well, not only are you right, I mean, it's almost not even worth criticizing Kamala Harris. No, no, exactly. What does she have to do with it's, it? it? There's no point in, cr in criticizing Kamala. She's, she's, she's simply the, the, the face of a, large, a much larger machine. Yes. Um, and she will say whatever is, whatever the, tele, the tele, tele, teleprompter, whatever's on the teleprompter, she's going to say it. He's not wrong. I think what the plan was, was for Biden to get back into office so then eventually he could maybe get sick. I don't know. He's getting old. So I think they expected him to get back into office. They were hoping he would get back into office and then he would step down and Kamala would take his spot. So then she wouldn't have to run against Trump. But obviously his uh, his debate performance made them have to reluctantly call an audible and have Kamala actually run against Trump. It's really whoever controls the teleprompter is the actual sort of th th those, that's who's actually in charge. And who is that, do you think? Well, I've, I've tried to pin it down. It's, it's not like any one kind of mastermind. Sometimes I think that she's on Trump's payroll because she always ends up making him look good, but obviously she works for the globalist elites. I bet you know 80 of them. I probably know most of them, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, I mean, just by virtue of your job and what you've been doing for the last 30 years, I mean, you just... Yeah. Bro, is Tucker CIA? Why did he say that like that? I bet you know 80 of them. It, I understand what he was trying to say, but it kind of sounded like he was like, I know what you did last summer type of vibes, honestly. I bet you know 80 of them. And also, he ain't got no socks on. I'd, I'd, I'd like to see a matchup of, of, of those, like, call it the, the, the top 100 puppet masters on the FD client list. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think there's some overlap? Strong overlap. <laughs> Strong overlap. When are we going to see that list? Do you think? I don't know. It's 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 it's, it's mind blowing that that it, um, that no, they've not tried to prosecute even one, not even the worst offender on on the Epstein client list. They have not even tried to prosecute even one. Isn't that that's insane? Well, because they have a lot of diabetic grandmothers who were outside the Capitol on January sixth. They they're kind of occupied. Yeah, they, I mean they put like whatever five or six hundred January sixth. Protesters in prison, and not one person on the, on the Epstein client list. Will that ever come out? Do you think? You know, I, I think part of why Kamala is getting so much support is that uh, if if Trump wins, that Epstein client list is going to become public. Yes. And okay. some of those billionaires behind Kamala are terrified of that outcome. Yeah. Do you think Reed Hoffman's uncomfortable? Yes. Oh. Yeah. And Gates. And Gates. Yeah. This dude absolutely hates Bill Gates. Ever since Bill Gates made that bet against Tesla in the stock market, this dude has had it out for him. I'm not going to lie. But he's also not wrong. Bill Gates is probably scared about the Epstein client list coming out because he's such great friends with Epstein. I was looking it up and Bill Gates is one of the only billionaires that became friends with Epstein after he got convicted for soliciting services of a minor and had to register as a offender basically bill gates is one of the only billionaires that became friends with him after that also bill gates has a dude named boris nikolik nikolik or something like that in his inner circle he used to be his his advisor of science and uh now he runs an investment firm that bill gates obviously invests in but this guy was also friends with epstein and a few days before Epstein took himself out, he amended his will and put this guy, Boris, I don't know how to say the name, 
but he put him as one of the exec- executioners, one of the executors of his will, just in case the two primary executors weren't able to be that. So Bill Gates' man, his homie within his inner circle, was put in Epstein's will a few days before Epstein took himself out. And I guess in court, he declined to be it, but who would want to be that while Epstein's sitting in jail for what he's sitting in jail for? Obviously, you're going to decline to be the executor of his of his estate and of his will. So that doesn't really mean anything. But Elon's playing with fire, bro. Hopefully Trump wins and that this wasn't all for nothing, bro, because... If he loses, I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> it does seem that way. Like, comment, subscribe.